From the Gebrobbelsep and Surrounds, uh, Brandberg Quartz with a mild dusting of uh, zeolite. I think it may be tiny apophyllite sitting on there. Over here, the green over there and there would most likely be tiny epidotes perched there. So now we're going to have a look at the top. It's not as, as lustrous as the typical Brandberg Quartz would be, but the lusting, uh, the the, uh, the almost the clothing of this crystal is pretty appealing. Tiny, tiny, most likely a pophylite crystal sitting on there. Uh, crystal form, let me take you through the angles. I'm just going to move it so we can see the reflections of the various angles. Then when we turn it over, fully crystalline here as well. So I think this may very well have has have formed as is in, in the... In the uh, Deposits of Gewobosep, of course, would be in a, in a clay. Usually, typically, we'd find a basalt lava as the, the host matrix for the Brandberg quartz and related. All the way from Namibia, Gewobosep and surrounds Namibia. Still, picture isn't all that appealing. Please note that all my videos, the, the products I show here, are all available on uh, uh, eBay, uh, where I trade as SA Hot Rocks. You'll actually find a link to my store if you click on uh, my, my storefront on YouTube. You just click on the, the link and it'll take you straight to my store. And uh, if you click on uh, 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 Ending Soonest, that'll be the most recent uh, and ending uh, 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 latest will be uh, more to do with the current videos. So videos will be in sequence, of course.